it has been too damn long since first seeing you. And second of all, the event that we're going to be talking about, i got to ask you first, how are you doing? And also, how's the boxing career going too, man? Because what you did a few years ago, I thought absolutely amazing and so proud of you for getting into the ring. It's something I'm hoping one of these days I'll be able to do. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. It's good to be here, man. Uh, things are going well. We're, uh, we're returning to live events, which feels nice. Starting to get busy here, and uh, we have a great event planned. And uh, in terms of the boxing career, I've been I've been staying in shape, actually, man. Uh, Good for you. Now that things have been off, uh, I started running quite a bit too. Uh, so uh, not so much in the gym as much, but uh, definitely I'm training towards uh, the Scotia Bank Marathon, actually. Oh, with, congratulations, uh, man! Congratulations. Yeah, yeah. No, for folks who are wondering if they don't know what I'm talking about, the boxing because it really was a worthwhile thing, not just physically and emotionally. What, what you're giving back and what the event was. Can you talk about that, please? Because like I said, so proud of you. Yeah, so uh, so uh, the event that we did was Agency Wars. Uh, and that event was for um, Movember, raising money for charity. Uh, essentially, uh, they had a tryout with a bunch of people in the agency marketing world. Uh, once I was picked, it was three months of grueling training wow. uh, and uh, uh, you know strict nutritional diet. And uh it actually uh, was was an incredible experience. We got we we received training from professional boxers and uh, got a chance to go into the ring for three rounds. I mean, I look back on the footage, and I'll mm -hmm. be honest with you, I could use a little bit of work, you know. But <laughs> we uh, all could. <laughs> but uh, it was definitely an incredible experience, man, and uh, it developed a new love for for the sport uh, for myself. So. Yeah, because you watch it differently now, man. As like for me, the first time I ever went to a, a real boxing match or going over the even UFC. You know, it's one thing when you're watching professional wrestling live, but on that note, man, when you hear the punch and the crunch and the ooh and the yeah. sweat and everything else, a whole different world. Like I said, man, mad, mad respect for you and what you were able to accomplish. Mad respect for you too, man, and bringing back a Toronto tradition for folks who don't know yet. Music and a lot of beer are coming back together again here in the great Toronto area. What is returning, man, after what, a year and a half, two years? Oh, yeah, it's almost two years, man. It feels like a lifetime, though. And, uh, you know, uh, thanks a lot for, for doing this. Uh, you know, the event that, that we're bringing back, man, is, is Fall Beer Fest Toronto. So it's a little bit different from our traditional beer festival, which is Toronto's Festival of Beer. Mm -hmm. But uh, it brings together the same elements, which is beer, bands, and good times. So that goes down on September 24th and 25th at Banshell Park. And uh, we couldn't be more excited to be there, man. How are you breaking this up? Because we're going to talk about the beer part in a second. But musically, though, because in the past you've had where you've uh, celebrated uh, hip hop, country, rock, pop. How is it working this year? Because I saw some big names from back in the day coming. That's right. So so traditionally, we'll do a three day festival, which usually incorporates hip hop because we're big hip hop fans. Uh, some uh, some uh, you know great Canadian rock we usually bring every year, and then recently we started introducing a bit more pop uh, and R and B to our festival. So for this particular event, we're actually doing an R and B night on the Friday, and we're bringing uh, the the one and only Shaggy to perform at the festival, which uh, I think a lot of people are very excited about. And then on Saturday we have. Uh, uh, the uh, live music hit machine, we like to call them, which is Dwayne Gretzky, which is a collective of artists from Toronto. And, and if you've heard of them before or seen them, they put on an incredible show. So uh, it's something you don't want to miss. Definitely an experience. So now let's go over to the beer part. For folks who don't know what this part is all about, it is the coolest thing, man, because it's almost like in a lot of ways, you're bringing the world to this stage. That's right. That's right. So what we're known best for is that we offer the best place to discover uh, local and international brewers, uh, you know, for, for any any different palate. OK, so if you're someone who's an experienced aficionado of beer, it's a great place for you to come because we have a ton of craft brewers, independent brewers and uh, also small, small batch brews that are being offered on site. Uh, we also have uh, some, some more well-known and well-recognized international brewers that are coming uh, for fans to enjoy. So there's a lot of great options for people to come and sample, have a good time, 
and honestly, I think we all need it at this point. You know, we've been we've been stuck at home being on Zoom for a little bit too long, you know. And uh, you know, although there's perks of not having to get dressed every morning, you know, I think it's time we get together and we we socialize and have a, have a lot of fun. So, and just in case anybody's wondering, yes, I do have pants on, so. It's not one of those kind of things we're doing these Zoom interviews. So let's go over how this actually works. And it's very important, especially because this year, what are the rules going to be? Uh, Not just going in and out. How many people are going to be in, masks, all of that? Absolutely. So uh, we have two different types of tickets available for this event. We have a general admission ticket and a club TFOB ticket. General admission ticket gets you entry to the festival and it provides you five sampling tokens, which you can probably get about two and a half different, uh, two and a half beers out of that sampling to start. So it's a good, good offering for when you come. The Club TFOB ticket uh, is a, it provides entry to our our new lounge, which is being hosted in Toronto Event Center. Um, So when you're there, you can actually experience the event poolside if you want, where you come in, you get a complimentary oyster bar, a welcome cocktail upon entry, you get a complimentary meal. Um, access to this lounge, which has air conditioning, wa- air conditioned washrooms, which is, as we know, at festivals, a big thing. Mm-hmm. And then also there's a, a there's a, a dedicated viewing area for Club TFOB fans as well, uh, okay. that they can watch the live, the shows on the main stage. Uh, in terms of the rules for this event, so something that's a little bit different this year, um, you know, obviously given that we're coming off of uh, off of or, you know, we're on the sort of tail end of uh, of the uh, the pandemic. We had to implement some new rules going to festivals, and uh, that is that every every attendee needs to be fully vaccinated, and they need to show proof of vaccination at the event. Uh, and the reason for this is because there's a lot of moving parts involved, and we got to keep everybody safe. And the most important thing for us is that we offer a unique experience that isn't compromised for any reason. And that doesn't mean that every event going forward is going to be like that. But for the first one around, we got to try it this way, and uh, you know. Uh, keep everybody safe. So, so if I have like, a, for example, on my phone, my last vaccination, and I show you that, and it says yes, I'm good with that. That's right. So what we're looking for is we're looking for a proof of vaccination receipt that you received on your second dose, uh, and you can pull that up through the Ontario Public Health website if you don't have a physical copy, or bring your physical copy. And our security team and COVID safety protocol team will be at the entrance looking for that and comparing it to your uh, your photo ID uh, upon entry. Okay, so, and then of course, once in, if you wanna wear a mask, wear a mask, if not. Yeah, so what we say is, you know, we understand it's, a, it's an outdoor event. Yeah. We would like fans to wear uh, a mask whenever possible, but, you know, obviously there's a comfort level that's involved. So sure. use your discretion, keep social distancing as best as possible. Obviously when you're drinking or eating, you can't keep your mask on. Um, but, you know, use your discretion and, uh, you know, let's keep each other safe, right? This is, yeah. there's been a long time that events have not been allowed to function. So we have to do this properly to gain the trust uh, from the, the, the people in power to allow us to operate our events to full capacity again. So Now, I know this event, okay? And we were just talking about beforehand. You just put the word out and tickets are like, they're disappearing. <laughs> How quickly are the tickets going and how do we get tickets for this? Can we get tickets for both shows? Do we just get tickets for one individual show? How does that work? So it's a, each ticket's valid for a single day. Uh, mm-hmm. Tickets can be purchased at fallbeerfestto.com. Uh, and uh, yeah, you know, when we put this event on sale, it was, uh, we were waiting and waiting for the good news that we could operate. And then finally, when we got that news, we moved quickly, put it on sale. And uh, I'll be honest with you, the, the response has been overwhelming. We are uh, more than 50% sold out of the event for both days. Uh, and, uh, you know, there's high demand for this ticket. And uh, we still have a month of selling to go. And I think fans are uh, have, a, have a, a, a very exciting opportunity in front of them because we also have another artist that we're planning on announcing soon. Uh, oh, some more programming. I can't release who that is just yet, but in the next few weeks, uh, you, you'll find out. And I think it's going to be something that's really well received. Man, how does it feel personally to bring back a Toronto tradition? Feels good. Feels good. I've been I've been working with this organization for a long time, and uh, you know, there's great people behind this, and uh, you know, our industry needs this more than ever. We need to come together. We need to be able to work again. Right. And we need to be able to offer uh, incredible experiences because it's about making memories. Right. And uh, we like to call everyone involved our beer fam. 
because this is a family, right? So if you come to our event, you're part of our beer family. We can't wait to have you there. So looking forward to that, man. Look, thank you so much. Oh, before we go again, one more time, where do we go to get tickets? Yep. So tickets can be purchased at fallbeerfestto.com. Fantastic. My brother, thank you so much. Looking forward to being there. Wow. What a way to end the summer of 2021. This is the place to go to because great people, great food, great drinks, great fun, great music, just great experience. Thank you again. Awesome. Thank you so much, Rudy. It's good to see you.